Fountain is a 1917 work widely attributed to Marcel Duchamp. The scandalous work was a porcelain urinal, which was signed a mutt, and titled Fountain. Submitted for the exhibition of the Society of Independent Artists in 1917, Fountain was rejected by the committee, even though the rules stated that all works would be accepted from artists who paid the fee. Fountain was displayed and photographed at Alfred Stiglitz's studio, and the photo published in The Blind Man, but the original has been lost. The work is regarded by some art historians and theorists of avant-garde, such as Peter Bar one quarter or G.E.R., as a major landmark in 20th century art. Seventeen replicas commissioned by Dutch Hamp in the 1960s now exist. Origin Marcel Dutch Hamp arrived in the United States less than two years prior to the creation of Fountain and had become involved with Dada, an anti rational, anti art cultural movement, in New York City. According to one version, the creation of Fountain began when, accompanied by artist Joseph Stella and art collector Walter Arensberg, he purchased a standard Bedfordshire model urinal from the J. L. Mott Iron Works, 118 Fifth Avenue. The artist brought the urinal to his studio at 33 West 67th Street, reoriented it to a position 90 degrees from its normal position of use, and wrote on it, Amat 1917. According to another version, Fountain is the result of a collaboration. In a 1917 letter to his sister, Dutch Hamp himself credits a female friend with the idea, as he writes to Suzanne Dutch Hamp, one of my female friends who had adopted the pseudonym Richard Mutt sent me a porcelain urinal as a sculpture. Dutch Hamp never identified his collaborator, but two candidates have been proposed as collaborators. First, the Dadaist Baroness Elsa von Freytmagloring oven, whose scatological aesthetics are more in line with the choice of a urinal as art than Dutch Hamp's. And second, Louise Norton, who contributed an essay to The Blind Man discussing Fountain. Since Dada did not start until 1916 in Zurich, it is hard to believe that Dutch Hamp became involved with Dada two years prior to Fountain, 1915. Rhonda Roland Shearer in the online journal Tart Fett has concluded that the photograph is a composite of different photos, while other scholars such as William Camfield have never been able to match the urinal shown in the photo to any urinals found in the catalogues of the time period. At the time Dutch Hamp was a board member of the Society of Independent Artists. After much debate by the board members about whether the piece was or was not art, Fountain was hidden from view during the show. Dutch Hamp resigned from the board in protest. The New York Dadaist stirred controversy about Fountain and its being rejected in the second issue of The Blind Man which included a photo of the piece and a letter by Alfred Stiglitz, and writings by Beatrice Wood and Arensberg. The anonymous editorial accompanying the photograph, entitled The Richard Mutt Case, made a claim that would prove to be important concerning certain works of art that would come after it. Whether Mr. Mutt made the fountain with his own hands or not has no importance. He chose it. He took an article of life, placed it so that its useful significance disappeared under the new title and point of view a euro created a new thought for that object. In defense of the work being art, Wood also wrote, the only works of art America has given her plumbing and her bridges. Dutch Hamp described his intent with the piece was to shift the focus of art from physical craft to intellectual interpretation. Menno Hubrechts argues that Dutch Hamp may have chosen Fountain as a riad I made because it parodied Robert J. Cody's exaltation of industrial machines as pure forms of American art. Cody, who championed his call for American art in his publication The Soil, printed a scathing review of Jean Crotty's portrait of Marcel Dutch Hamp in the December 1916 issue. Hubrechts notes that Dutch Hamp's urinal may have been a clever response to Cody's comparison of Crotty's sculpture with the absolute expression of or Euro plumber. Shortly after its initial exhibition, Fountain was lost. According to Dutch Hamp biographer Calvin Tompkins, the best guess is that it was thrown out as rubbish by Stiglitz a common fate of Dutch Hamp's early ready -mides. The first reproduction of Fountain was authorized by Dutch Hamp in 1950 for an exhibition in New York. Two more individual pieces followed in 1953 and 1963, and then an artist's multiple was manufactured in an edition of eight in 1964. 
these editions ended up in a number of important public collections. Indiana University Art Museum, San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, Philadelphia Museum of Art, the National Gallery of Canada, Centre George's Pompidou and Tate Modern. The edition of eight was manufactured from glazed earthenware painted to resemble the original porcelain, with a signature reproduced in black paint. Interpretations of all the artworks in this series of Redimides, Fountain is perhaps the best known because the symbolic meaning of the toilet takes the conceptual challenge posed by Redimides to their most visceral extreme. Similarly, philosopher Stephen Hicks argued that Dutch Hamp, who was quite familiar with the history of European art, was obviously making a provocative statement with Fountain, the artist is a not great creator a Euro Dutch Hamp went shopping at a plumbing store. The artwork is not a special object a Euro it was mass produced in a factory. The experience of art is not exciting and ennobling a Euro at best it is puzzling and mostly leaves one with a sense of distaste. But over and above that, Dutch Hamp did not select just any ready-made object to display. In selecting the urinal, his message was clear, art is something you piss on. Since the photograph taken by Stiglitz is the only image of the original sculpture, there are some interpretations of Fountain by looking not only at reproductions but this particular photograph. Tompkins notes that it does not take much stretching of the imagination to see in the upside-down urinals gently flowing curves the veiled head of a classic Renaissance Madonna or a seated Buddha or, perhaps more to the point, one of Bra Centre and CUE unregistered trademark eyes polished erotic forms. The title of the work, the use of the word Dada for the art movement, the meaning and intention of both the piece and the signature Amat, are difficult to pin down precisely. It is not clear whether Dutch Hamp or Freight McLaurin Haven had in mind the German Armut, or possibly Ermutter. If we separate the capital and lowercase letters we get RM, and UT, RM would stand for Riad I made, which is the fountain itself and UT, when read out loud sounds like U to copyright ta copyright in French. The name Armut is a play on its commercial origins and also on the famous comic strip of the time, Mutt and Jeff. In German, Armut means poverty, Although Dutch Hamp said the R stood for Richard, French slang for money bags, which makes fountain, or money bags piss pot, a kind of scatological golden calf. Legacy In December 2004, Dutch Hamp's fountain was voted the most influential artwork of the 20th century by 500 selected British art world professionals. The Independent noted in a February 2008 article that with this single work, Dutch Hamp invented conceptual art and severed forever the traditional link between the artist's labor and the merit of the work. Jerry Saltz wrote in The Village Voice in 2006. Dutch Hamp adamantly asserted that he wanted to deify the artist. The ready provide a way around inflexible either or aesthetic propositions. They represent a Copernican shift in art. Fountain is what's called a natropoitoi, sick an image not shaped by the hands of an artist. Fountain brings us into contact with an original that is still an original but that also exists in an altered philosophical and metaphysical state. It is a manifestation of the Kantian sublime, a work of art that transcends a form but that is also intelligible, an object that strikes down an idea while allowing it to spring up stronger. The prices for replicas, editions, or works that have some ephemeral trace of Dutch Hamp reached its peak with the purchase of one of the eight 1964 replicas of Fountain for $1.7 million at Sotheby's in November 1999. Interventions Several performance artists have attempted to contribute to the piece by urinating in it. South African-born artist Kendall Gears, rose to international notoriety in 1993 when, at a show in Venice, he urinated into the fountain. Artist-slash-musician Brian Eno declared successfully urinating in the fountain while exhibited in the MOMA in 1993. He admitted that it was only a technical triumph because he needed to urinate in a tube in advance so he could get the fluid through a gap between the protective glass. Swedish artist Bja Paragraph R. N. Kjeltoft urinated in the fountain at Moderna Museet in Stockholm in 1999. In spring 2000, Yuan Chai and Jan Junior Zai, Two performance artists, who in 1999 had jumped on Tracy Amin's installation sculpture My Bed in the Turner Prize exhibition at Tate Britain, 
went to the newly opened Tate Modern and urinated on the fountain which was on display. However, they were prevented from soiling the sculpture directly by its perspex case. The Tate, which denied that the duo had succeeded in urinating into the sculpture itself, banned them from the premises stating that they were threatening works of art and our staff. When asked why they felt they had to add to Dutch Hamp's work, Chai said, the urinal is there a euro it's an invitation. As Dutch Hamp said himself, it's the artist's choice. He chooses what is art. We just added to it. On January 4, 2006, while on display in the Dada show in the Pompidou Center in Paris, Fountain was attacked by Pierre Pinoncelli, a 76-year-old French performance artist, with a hammer causing a slight chip. Pinoncelli, who was arrested, say the attack was a work of performance art that Marcel Dutch Hamp himself would have appreciated. In 1993 Pinoncelli urinated into the piece while it was on display in Nîmes, in southern France. Both of Pinoncelli's performances derive from neo-Dadaists and Viennese actionists' intervention or maneuver. Afterward, Dutch Hamp is often misquoted as saying, This neo-Dada, which they call new realism, pop art, assemblage, etc., is an easy way out, and lives on what Dada did. When I discovered the ready-mades I sought to discourage aesthetics. In Neo Dada they have taken my ready maders and found aesthetic beauty in them, I threw the bottle rack and the urinal into their faces as a challenge and now they admire them for their aesthetic beauty. However, fellow Dadaist Hans Richter explained years later that it was in a letter he had written to Dutch Hamp in 1961, except in the second person not the first, that is. You threw. Etc. Dutch Hamp had written in French, Oc, a section of Vartraus Bian in the margin beside it. See also, Redimeders of Marcel Dutch Hamp, Society of Independent Artists, Found Object, Art Intervention, Conceptual Art, Transgressive Art, Notes. References, The Blind Man, Volume 2, May 1917, New York City. Caban, Pierre. Dialogues with Marcel Dutch Hamp. S.L. Da Capo Press. ISBN A 0 306 80303 8 Gamel, Irene. Baroness Elsa, Gender, Dada and Everyday Modernity. Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press, 2002. Hubregt, Menno. Robert J. Cody's The Soil and Marcel Dutch Hamp's Fountain, Taste, Nationalism, Capitalism. And New York Dada. Review de Canadian Canadian Art Review 34, 28 to Euro 42. A, Kleiner, Frederick S. Gardner's Art Through the Ages, The Western Perspective. Belmont, California, Thompson Woodsworth. ISBN A 0 534 63640 3. A, Marquis, Alice Goldfob. Marcel Dutch Hamp, The Bachelor Stripped Bearer Biography. Minneapolis, MFA Publications, MFA Publications. ISBN A 0 87846 644 4. A. Tompkins, Calvin. Dutch Hamp, A Biography. New York, New York Henry Holt and Company. ISBN A 0 8050 5789 7. A. Further reading, Beta Court, Michael. The Richard Mutt Case, Looking for Marcel Dutch Hamp's Fountain. Art Science Research Laboratory A, West, Patrick. He was just taking the piss, observations on Dutch Hamp and his urinal. New Statesman A, External Links, Dutch Hamp's Fountain, Smurf History at Khan Academy, Dutch Hamp and the Ready Maids, Smurf History at Khan Academy.